All right, here's my new pulse motor. Um, it's a little bit different than what I've been working on. Uh, got a old whip mag stator. <clears throat> I doubled it up, and I have a smaller bearing in the middle here. Um, and it, it's lighter; it moves a lot better. Uh, and then I have these two double stacked, and it sort of counterbalances uh, and lets it spin pretty nice. Um, the meter 1.47. Uh, it's a battery here, double uh, A, a little bit of filter circuit, uh, LED for the BEMF. <coughs> here we have the reed switch. I use some my Robo Whip pieces here. Uh, this here is a drill bit. Um, I was looking for a way to focus uh, the magnetic field to the reed switch and this seems to do it. Um, this helps you give yourself some fine adjustment. Um, coil is, uh, you can get it from Radio Shack. They have yeah, they have a three pack that has one of them is this type. It's 26 gauge, um, but I bought two packs and I wrapped them, wrapped the second roll onto the first one. So it's uh, the original was three ohms and now it's six ohms. And then I have a coil <coughs> set up inside. Uh, don't even know how many wraps, many wraps, but it's the driver, and then this coil uh, just sends to this filter circuit and back to the battery. This filter circuit grabs the back EMF from the small coil and it sends it back to the battery. And start it up. See? See this little thing? It's crazy. Move that out of the way. Don't work. Put that in the way. And I guess it grabs uh, the field while it's out there and concentrates it towards the reed switch. So it spins pretty nice. I don't know if you can hear it. Now another thing about this drill bit, when I move it to this side of the switch, it goes one direction, move it to this side, it goes the other. This is some weird stuff. I don't know if it's adjusting the phase of when the switch is hitting, possibly, but it's kind of to be a neat effect here. Or at least uh, fine tuning, adjusting, and controlling. Put it right in the middle. Just stop. So that's why I have these little post holders here. Put one here too, in case I need to have one somewhere else. Um, what I'm finding is. If I bring it close enough that it reacts on its own, it does a little wobbling. Um, it doesn't really want to go. Uh, I can bring it in further and it just does more wobbling. But as I bring it out, it'll stop. Bring it in until it just kicks. Now that's without the drill bit helping. Now if I bring introduce the drill bit, which goes the other way. Take the drill bit away.
it's real touchy as to where the switch is. Okay. Right. Introduce the drill bit. Move the drill bit. But I'm real happy I got the whip mag stator working with it. Uh, comes close to being a sphere. It doesn't spin, you know, near as good and as long. Uh, you can see the LED lit there. Uh, I got a little tiny transformer I got out of a relay, I believe it was. I just have a blue LED hooked up to it. And it doesn't really put any drag on the motor. Lighten it up pretty good. It drags it because I was hitting it. But we light it up. Now, let's see. Voltage is down a little bit. Still more work to go. Uh, it was at a full charge though. Uh, once these batteries settle, they're about 135. Um, at full charge, uh, the most I have was 1425, 1.425. Um, so I think the batteries need to be settled in before you take anything to heart because this could. This could be the battery just dropping from where it sits after being on full charge. Um, but basically, she runs good. I'm real happy I got the stator from the whip mag to work with it. Uh, took me a while to get it going. I had a lot of that wobble and stuff, and I was thinking it wasn't going to work. But uh, she's worked pretty good neat stuff, but all this stuff is movable. Oops. This is movable. It, it makes it nice because you could leave the switch, how it's reacting to the magnet, and move the coil away only, and it won't affect the switching. But if you move just the magnet, uh, the switching is affected. Um, and this moves to... Oops. Even with some drag on there, she's pulling. It's got some torque. And for only pulling the battery down as it's already coming down, it's pretty good. Alright guys, I'm going to mess around with this a little bit more. A little close-up of what's we got going on and none of it's there for just looks it's, it's all got a purpose okay see you later